African American churches have played the role of gathering place, a place of community, a place of harnessing talent and resources and labor, and also a place of advocacy. As we continue Black History Month, we continue the journey to celebrate African-American trailblazers in the Shenandoah Valley. For the first week of the Journey series, we talk about the role churches play in Black communities. While these religious institutions can worship in many different ways, church itself was much more than Sunday service. Stanton, Virginia, this is the home of Allen Chapel AME Church, a place of worship for many generations and remains a central part of the Queen City. You're going to feel the love of God, you're going to feel the love of the people. Stanton has been called a city of churches from Ebenezer to Mount Zion to Allen Chapel AME. There are several worship sites that have been in the area for more than 150 years. Historians say Allen Chapel is the first black church to be founded west of the Blue Ridge. Can you imagine? They built a church? Enslaved people built a church? People who had experienced slavery built a church and they kept it? How much more am I required to do based upon what my ancestors have bequeathed to me? I'm right there in the blue. Um, that's my cousin, Sonny. Elizabeth in Williams and Linwood Bundy Jr. grew up in the church and say it has been a vital part of their upbringing. In providing not just me, but people around in this neighborhood and, and around the community of having that spiritual basis. Did I go every Sunday? Did I go every month? Did I go every year? No. But church was always fun because anytime I needed, you know where your graces come from because I was raised in church, so I know where to go back when I needed something you know, to go on your knees and pray. So I knew about the church. I knew the foundation of it. Now, beyond the walls of Allen, scholars have said churches in black communities all over have offered the people numerous opportunities and resources. They carry the weight of basically every aspect of black life. And this only um, becomes more pronounced uh, as we move to the end of the 19th century, the imposition of Jim Crow where black churches become the movie theater, the, um, the bank or the, the mutual aid society, the uh, social center, um, churches, and, in addition to becoming sort of political spaces. While the number of people attending Sunday service has gone down, these places of worship continue to be a force in the communities they serve. If you've had one booster already, you can get a second down, you know that. Helping people get food, helping people uh, get access to banking services and financial services, and even in voting, we still see in some communities. One of the things we find in black churches is that they do become these kind of uh, local sites of organizing and really tending to the needs of community in, in the aftermath of the civil rights movement. They're doing some of the same work in terms of um, political organizing, um, housing, um, education, educational access but it's happening more so at the local level in sort of re, you know, in a revitalized way. My grandmother, Rachel Motes, raised her family in this church, and I was born into this church. Um, four generations later, her great-great-granddaughter, my great-niece, attends Sunday school here. So it's a part of our past, but it's also a part of our family's future. Churches continue to play a vital role in black communities across the country. You can listen to more of my conversation with historians and members of Allen Chapel AME by checking out this story on our website, whsv.com. I'm Simone McKinney. Join us next Tuesday when the journey continues. This WHSV segment is sponsored by Glow Fiber.